first of all, from what I can gather from the song, um, those arpeggios are based on the chord progressions. So the beginning starts off with a G minor, G minor dyad, so 10th fret on A, 8th fret on D. Then it's an F major dyad, which is 8th fret on A, 7th fret of D. Then a D power chord, 5 on A, 7 on D. Then an F power chord, 8 on A, 10 on D. And in the intro, it's just tremolo pitch. Yeah, so that's the first part, so that's your foundation. And then what I'm hearing there is a kind of... Like an eighth note little rhythm going on there. So what I'm doing is I'm just barring the 12th fret of D and G, picking G, D, G, D, G, D every time. So then I move down two frets to the 10th frets, still using playing the same strings. Then the 7th fret. Back up to the 10th fret. And what those notes are effectively is an inverted power chord where you start with the fifth note, well the fifth interval, then the root note. And that builds up from the chords because you've got a G here and you're basically just filling out the notes of the G power chord, F, D, and back to F. Now the arpeggios work off the chords as well, so you've got the um, the G minor arpeggio is kind of like the sweet position. This is what I hear. I'm not sure if it's 100%. I need to give it a proper, proper listen, but I'm pretty sure I've got the gist of it. And then it's the F major here. Yeah, it works on like this F major chord shape, but you add the major seven. And then it moves down to D major. And then back to F, but a different position now. So learn the chords, then learn the arpeggios, and then layer everything up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Black metal on public, no. That's embarrassing, <laughs> that's embarrassing. I mean, I wouldn't really do it, you know, it would be, you know, I think I'm a bit too old to put on corpse paint and spikes and start going in the streets. It would be funny, but I'd rather be a viewer than the guy who does that. I'd like to do something ridiculous like Backstreet Boys. I want it that way, it would be a hilarious black metal song. Or, or something from NSYNC, just something from a boy band from the 90s. That would be ridiculous, that would be good fun. I haven't been reading much lately. Um, I used to read quite a lot back in the day, a lot of psychology books. But lately, <clears throat> and what gave me a cathartic experience, I think the first time I completed Final Fantasy VII, I think that was very cathartic, that was a big, big... Um, that was a big eye-opener for how in-depth the game can be when it comes to not only just the, the content, but dialogue and, and, and passion. And I got the same experience from Final Fantasy VIII. That was, that was incredible. And also, Initial D, that's like my favorite, one of my favorite things in the world ever. That's when it comes to like some video games and TV shows. Yeah, Gran Turismo 1, that's a really special game. That's a really, really special game. Uh, that shaped me as a human being, for Christ's sake. That's a, that's a very important game. That, that changed my life as a kid, and it still kind of does. It's like I play the game now, and I'm just like, oh, crap, this is so cool. And, um, yeah. Um, but nothing compares to doing a live show where all of your senses are completely swarmed by fast, brutal, chaotic music. 
nothing kind of compares to that. That's kind of what makes live playing really, really special. I think nothing will ever, ever compare to a live show because they're that much different from everything else. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the Q&A. Um, we'll do one next year, probably. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more content.